welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. Today, we're going to wash the RV and apply F11 top coat and see how it does. So to prepare the camper for the F11 top coat, we're first going to have to wash it and get all the dirt off because it says to apply it to you know, a clean surface, including the back. So we'll get all that cleaned up, get the whole thing washed, and then uh, we'll apply it. And the reason I chose to do this today, if you look up at the sky, a little gray and you're not supposed to apply this stuff um, in the sun you know in direct sunlight so I just got back from a trip so I thought this would be a good time to do this so let's see how well we'll get it cleaned up and then we'll start to apply and we'll see how it goes okay so we're gonna have to wash it first so what I'm gonna do I use a little boat soap Well, she shouldn't be too dirty because she sits in a garage when she's not being used. nothing hard you know or no real stains or any of that kind of stuff on here it was just you know road dust just road dust and that kind of stuff from going down the road we get all that dirt off of there and saw that soap off and then we'll move to the next wall okay so next up is this side we'll start here Get it good and wet. Rinse that off a little bit. Once we got the back half done on this side. Now this is one, you know, the front's where all the bugs go, get stuck. I see a couple, but not there's not much on here. So that's good. A couple bugs up there. Ah, that was not bad at all. Of course it's you know it's only been out on six or seven trips and like I said when I'm not using it it sits in the garage so that's probably why it's in good shape 
All right, we gotta switch to the other side. that down and then we just have this wall to do and then we're ready to dry it off and start applying the F111 we just got to get this wet We have our F11 top coat. We do have the sprayer and we have a chamois cloth. And instead of all you do is we're gonna spray a little on. And then you just take your chamois cloth, polish it in. doesn't appear to take an awful lot to coat it with this silicone spray. So they sent me a small bottle and a large bottle. Now I paid for it, I didn't get it for free. As you know, when I'm looking at products, I don't wanna be influenced by it. So this, uh, this is a product that I paid for, had it shipped directly to me. And, you know, like it's not gonna be, probably took me longer to wash it than it did to apply this. And then once I get the main stuff wiped off, I just move to a dry spot and kind of buff it in. It looks pretty shiny. I'm uh, overall, with my test panel, I'm pretty pleased. It seems like it's doing a pretty good job.
we finished applying the F11. So that silicone kind of fluid you put on there, you don't have to wax on or wax off like the old days. We just applied that, you can see, got a nice sheen to it, nice shine to it. So here you can see the other side, looks just as good. Got a nice shine on it. And of course the back turned out great. Hey, if this video helped you and you enjoyed it, consider subscribing to the channel. It's free, helps me out a lot. Also ring that bell, you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. And give the video a thumbs up, that helps too. But more important than all that, call it some fun out there. Thanks for watching.